Good All right. Home. Hello and welcome to this momentous occasion. Before the wedding, I want to say two things. First, we are pleased that you're here with us, either in the room or out in Zoom land. <laughs> and second, it is my pleasure to be with you. And then on behalf of Paul and Marie, I want to lift up two very important individuals who are responsible for bringing them together. While these important figures in Paul and Marie's lives are here in the house, they're not really up front and center at the moment. And they're here with us, though. But even so, their role in bringing these two together must be recognized. If it were not for these canine companions, Paul and Marie would not have been frequenting the dog park and never would have met. So special recognition of both Odie and Shadow on this, the day their human companions married, seems only appropriate. So let me remind you all to thank Odie and Shadow for their work as matchmakers. And now we will begin the ceremony. We have come here today so that Paul and Marie might bear witness before us and the world to the love that has grown up between them, that they might affirm their oneness and their dedication here as they affirm them to one another. The mysterious union of two persons in marriage occurs in the giving and receiving of their love and devotion. In witness to this mystery, they have come to pledge their love, affection, and the sharing of their lives. As two separate beings, they shall create one home in which each in their own way shall become more complete because of the other. From joys and sorrows shared, they shall grow in love and loyalty. From any pain given and forgiven, they shall grow in mutual understanding. Please join me in a moment of prayerfulness. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, ruler of the universe. Grant that the love which unites this couple may grow in abiding happiness, and may there be peace in their home and quietness and confidence in their hearts. May they be sustained by finding their place in the midst of all people, and by the hope of peace and justice for humanity. Amen. And now I'm going to ask you two to step a little more into the center of the screen so you're looking directly at each other. Okay. Marriage involves at once the highest privileges and the greatest responsibilities of life. Its happiness and success are dependent upon mutual love, unfailing patience, fidelity of one to the other. Henceforth, you, Paul, and Marie, will live a life of mutual devotion, each seeking and promoting the joy, the comfort, the health, and the enrichment of the other, in all of which you will share your sorrows and multiply your joys. And if you have carefully considered the sacredness of assuming, of the obligation assumed when lives are wed, and you are well assured that you are prepared to enter into this covenant, joining yourselves each to the other in holy sanctuary. Will you please join hands for the sharing of your vows? Paul, please repeat after me. Do you, Paul, take Marie to be your wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, from richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do you part? According to God's holy ordinance. Excellent. And Marie, do you take Paul to be your wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and health, to love and to cherish till death do you part, according to God's holy ordinance? I do. All right. <laughs> Yay! And now Pierre will read to us. You're going to read first. Okay. I'll hang on to this while you okay, read it, and then you can pull them off. Okay. Yep. The Word of God tells us what love is like and what love does. 
Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant. It does not, it, it does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own. It is not provoked. And it does not take into account a wrong suffering. It does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. For love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. But above all, love never fails. The wedding ring is the outward, invisible symbol of the inward and spiritual bond which joins two hearts in love. It is a circle which has no beginning and no end, and so symbolizes the bond of love between partners. And now you will hand me the rings. Yes. With these sacred rings, the gold of love and compassion, circle of wholeness and community, we bind these two together. Let's see, Paul, I'm going to give you Marie's ring first. Whoops. <laughs> People always do. <laughs> Please repeat after me. Marie, I give you this ring. Marie, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My devotion. My devotion. And my faithfulness to you always. My faithfulness to you always. Please place the ring on Marie's name. Oh my god. It never does. <laughs> and Marie? Paul's here. Okay. Paul, I give you this ring. Paul, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. My devotion. My devotion. And my faithfulness to you always. And my faithfulness to you always. Please place the ring on Paul's finger. <laughs> On the one hand, it is a circle around the newlywed couple, symbolizing a union in which complete intimacy, love, and confidence are reserved only for the couple. However, on the other hand, it is a symbol of inclusiveness, and it points to the concern for society and the community that must characterize the family for the family does not operate in a vacuum, but rather is a unit in society, and its morality and values contribute to the welfare and health of society as a whole. May you forever be united in a circle of love, care, and compassion. Marie and Paul, you have come here today before us and before God, and have expressed your desire to become husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by joining hands and have made promises of faith and devotion each to the other and have sealed these promises by giving and receiving of the rings. Therefore, it is my privilege as a minister and by the authority given to me by the state of Massachusetts, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. Paul, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Yay. Woo. And ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to you to introduce to you for the very first time in their married life, Paul and Marie, Mr. and Mrs. Paul Lohr. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, you are so welcome. Congratulations. My delight. Thank you. Wow. That's beautiful. Letting them. Awesome. And now I'll sign the paper and make it real. <laughs> so now we're looking for someone to carry on the Lord name. <laughs> <laughs> to you. We have a star again. <laughs> Who's maybe 25 and you never forgot? <laughs> I forgot those 
flowers. We had food in years. Oh, yeah. Is that my bouquet? I totally forgot. We have pictures of them. Come on. You can still wear them. Yeah, of course. We can go on. Get them. Yeah. I got to post that behind you. Oh, yeah. He stopped it. All right. I was like, so I think that was.